Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Radar MMA Bet speaking. Eight plus years of betting experience in the in the MMA world and at UFC. In this video here, I'll be covering the last the last two fights. Actually, these are you know uh, replacement fights for other fights that have been canceled. So interestingly enough, this card is somehow cursed. Especially Dwight Grant, the guy got uh, two different uh, two two different changes. You know, in what one week. So be covering this uh, the rest of the fights uh, i have already covered in previous videos I'm, I'm gonna be adding a link in the description also this is the most comprehensive betting strategy and the breakdowns uh, together guys what i what i mean by most comprehensive i'll be covering the fight the fight soon plus uh, this is my my transparency to you guys here by i'm accumulating all the results from the start of this channel okay i'm also separately in different charts so you guys can uh, track and uh, you know hopefully leverage my strategy and get gains uh, yourselves okay so if you if you know my channel I actually I, I separate these comments in a different uh, slide but in this case I'm not doing it because this is was very brief you know and I wanted to be a little bit more concise here so let me start right now commenting about two fights like i said they are replacement fights to other fights that happened here i'll be starting off with dwight grant versus daniel rodriguez so previous uh, opponent dwight grant's opponent the previous previous one was uh, jared gooden then changed to colin Bourne, and now we have uh, d rod now d rod he was supposed to fight the Japanese guy, which was uh, one second there. Yeah, here it is, right on top. So he was supposed to fight Takashi Sato. Okay, so this fight, guys, Dwight Grant versus Daniel Rodriguez. As a fan, this is actually more interesting. But as a, a gambler, as as a, a sports better, this is more difficult to bet. Why? Because each uh, each guy has um, has an advantage advantage over the other. Grant. He's long, he's explosive, he's well-rounded, but he, he's odd, you know, so it's difficult to fight the guy. But uh, he doesn't have a, enough volume and he, he's a little bit inconsistent. I said that in my previous video, so check that out. But uh, this is more or less his style. Daniel Rodriguez, as also to mention, sorry, that uh, Grant also has some wrestling, good uh, play factor in this fight. Whereas Rodriguez, he's basically a boxer, but... He's a very effective one. He's quite a big guy for a welterweight. He moves forward. He's busy with a jab, with a straight combination. So, like I said, it's one. You can basically pick whoever you want to win. I'm actually slightly favoring Rodriguez because I like the volume a little bit better and I like his consistent consistency. So, in terms of odd, I would be interested in betting this fight in case I can get Dwight Grant at plus 150 and Rodriguez at the plus on 20 those odds have have yet to be released when they do i'll add in these comments whether i'm betting or not the the, the card okay the the fight sorry okay the next one i wanted to cover is timur valier versus trevin jones this came came to me as a interesting surprise i'm more interested in this fight because i i like this guy trevin jones i have never heard about him before but uh, have just taken a look in his videos He's pretty solid. I'm impressed, to be honest. He's uh, he's from Guan, from the island of Guan. He has fought around the world. Very well-rounded guy. You know, super calm. Very effective with uh, both kicks and punches. Good wrestler. Good grappler, you know, especially from top. From the bottom, he explodes. He can quickly get back up. So I like him, you know. I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to see him in the UFC and uh, betting, uh, betting him on future fights. In this case, it's quite a tough challenge against the Valiev. The Valiev, uh, he's he was supposed to fight the last card and now this card, so he he's has trained for the card, you know, and uh, especially he's super well rounded, you know. Probably you guys know him. He trains with Frankie Edgar, so both of them probably training with, with each other on top of the of the card, you know. Is, Valiev has a lot of hype behind him. That Sambo wrestling is just nasty, you know, really. That uh, double leg is very explosive. He's very effective from top. He, he he has good kicks. He has good jabs. You know, he's a complete fighter. I'm not saying that uh, Jones has 
has no chances, but uh, actually, like I said, I'm impressed with Jones. So, how would I would be betting this card? Since Jones is... Uh, I was impressed with him, and like I said, very well-rounded, actually. I didn't mention that he's also athletic. So I see him... I, I feel that he has a chance. I would be, be, I'd be interested in betting Jones if I can get him around plus 350, and I think... I can, you know, because uh, we, we can get this line, because it's a, it's a late replacement, probably unknown guy, so most likely we can get this line, and I would be interested in betting um, against Valiev in this case, you know, like, it's, to me, he's even has more chances than Strigo, especially if he had a full training camp, but still, I think the guy, his stuff, you know, he's, for you guys to know, he made weight. In a catch weight, of course, but he made weight in a what, two days notice or one day notice, whatever that was. So the guy is, is coming for real, you know, and I think man versus man, you know, a real fight, you never know. So I would be actually interested betting Trevin Jones in this case, okay? So guys, that's basically it. The rest of the, the card you guys have here, my betting strategy. Let me just in 30 seconds explain to those that have, have never seen. Like I said, go for the video that uh, it's more explanatory, the more detailed video, I'll add a link to it. But what I have here is this color code means if it's red, it means that I'm betting the card, but with a low confidence, right? If it's yellow, I'm betting this, this fighter in this case, right? With a medium confidence, and if it's green, I'm betting it with a high confidence, right? Actually, it's not bet, betting in, in a confidence level, rather I'm advising a bet this is a low advisable bet, it's a median and there is a high one. So in a nutshell, Hubbard's Lemos are, me are medium picks, the rest are low, Edgar, Mike Rodriguez, uh, OSP, now probably would be having Valia, uh, Trevin Jones and uh, probably Daniel Rodriguez is coming as, as a low one also. And uh, the high one is Shayna Dobson, not because I think that she's a favorite, but those lines are just ridiculous, guys. This is a high recommended bet because I do see her as a as the, the favorite striking, you know. And Agapova, she moved forward the last fight with chin up. It's her style, you know. She's she's tough. She's a brawler, but in a fight against a girl in Shannon Dobson with that kind of power, it can it could go either way if my Agapova decides to brawl. You never know. So that's why I, I'm saying that. This is my high advised bet. All right, that being said, uh, all, everything I say, this is my take, right? This is, ultimately, it's your money. You would be betting, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Rather than that, this is uh, how I'm betting. Go for the, again, go for the, the more explanatory video. Good luck, good luck with your bets. Please like uh, and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates. And until there, this is Roder Meme Bet, bringing the betting, the best betting strategy transparent and consistent for you.